Patriots offseason if there weren't some sort of controversy. Here's the deal. We're going to try this again. Head on over to pulse.newcentermain.com and weigh in on our poll or open up your app and click on the Pulse button to vote. A source very close to Tom Brady claims that the five-time Super Bowl champion suffered a concussion last year, which would be news to the rest of Patriot Nation. That source is his wife. Now, we all know how tight-lipped the Patriots are about anything and everything, especially when it comes to injuries, but I guess it doesn't go to their spouses. Brady's wife, Giselle Bunchen, suggested, in fact, actually said he has suffered from concussions in his career, including last season. Bunchen was answering a question about her husband's career during an interview on CBS this morning when she said, quote, he had a concussion last year, but not just one concussion, she claimed. He's had multiple concussions over time. Bunchen did not elaborate or say whether or not a doctor has ever diagnosed those concussions. According to injury reports issued by the Patriots, Tom Brady has no history of concussions or head injuries. Now, the NFL Players Association weighed in today. The NFL weighed in today. Here's a statement that came from the league just a short time ago. They say there are no records that indicate Mr. Brady suffered a head injury or concussion or exhibited or complained of concussion symptoms. We've been in contact with the NFLPA and will work together to gather more information from the club's medical staff and Mr. Brady and to the absolute surprise of nobody there was no comment from the Patriots or from Tom Brady. Shocking. Yeah. So Anyway, how about those Celtics? Uh, last night, Boston won the draft lottery. They will have the top pick in June's draft. It's the first time Celtics have had the number one pick since Chuck Share, you remember him, back in 1950. Oh, yeah. And tonight, the Seas will host game one of the Eastern Conference Finals against Cleveland. Many Mainers will be headed down to the Garden to check out the games. And the Amtrak Down Easter has implemented later departure times for the Celtics home games. Last train leaving North Station will be at 1125 instead of the usual. 10 30 so you can stay for the whole game and That's come on home. Fall asleep on the train. Right, so you don't have to